Hey folks, here I am again. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about water spots washing your car and uh, trying to do it in a way to where you get no water spots, even if it's hot and you're in Arizona um, and you're trying like hell to get the car dry before you start creating water spots because of your hard water. So uh, I'm going to achieve that by doing what's called deionizing my water. And the way I do that is with this little gadget right here. So uh, this tank contains a special resin that pulls out the minerals, the calcium, the magnesium, whatever's in the water, which causes your spots in your, in your vehicle. So according to the manufacturer, uh, when I wash the car, uh, I want to wash it with just regular water, but when I go to rinse it, I'm going to use water that's going through this tank. Supposedly, I get no water spots. So we're going to go ahead and try this, and uh, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see if there's water spots. Let's get to it. So before I get started, uh, I'm going to measure this water for what's called total dissolved solids. So this meter right here will pretty much get us the total dissolved solids. Uh, the closer to zero, the less dissolved solids. So let's take a look at what we get. Pretty good, huh? right at zero. So that's exactly what you want. Now, um, I'm going to put it in bypass and show you what it's like in bypass. So this is unfiltered water. And take a look. So if you didn't see it, if the camera didn't catch it, 173, so 173 parts per million uh, particles in the water. So um, it's obviously doing its job. We'll see how great it is. So I'm gonna leave it on bypass, wash the car, and then uh, when I go to rinse it, I'm gonna put it through the filter, and uh, we'll see if it's so good that I don't have to hurry up with my drying process. All right. Let's go take a look. Um, let's see, it's still dribbling, but as you can see in the areas that it uh, is drying, <laughs> no spotting. I'm amazed. No spotting, no water spots. I'm kind of amazed. Uh, I'm going to start drying the car anyway. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and let one area just kind of dry on its own, maybe the front right fender here, and uh, we'll take another look in a minute. So far, kind of amazed. All right, so, whew, going nuts. Gotta hurry, even though there's no spotting happening. So if you take a close look, there is some mild spotting. If you take a close look right there, but it seems they go like that. It's gone. So um, it's not the normal deposit kind of uh, spotting. There's a minimal, like you can see where there might have been a water spot, but uh, literally just taking the microfiber and drying over the dry spot uh, takes care of it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this job. And I will say uh, I paid $399 for that. It's DI Rents. I don't get sponsored by them. Uh, I'll put a link in the bottom. Um, is it worth it? If you're OCD like me, absolutely. If you're not, um, then uh, you might be fine without. 
but uh, I'll tell you for my purposes, absolutely worth it. Um, it takes a little bit of the stress out. I don't have to run around the car like a madman because even in the evening, it's uh, 80 degrees here. And so the minute you put water on, water dries and you got big deposits everywhere. And so uh, I'd give it a thumbs up. Take care. See you next time. This is a badass ride. I said badass ride. And no, it's not an M5, but fun in a whole nother way.